Hey guys, Bogdan25 here, watching the launch of the Nauka module to the International Space Station on the Proton M. This is going to be over a week long transfer. So, uh, see how it goes. This is. Well, this is the first major addition to the Russian segment since I believe the Rasviet module would have been the last. It's either Rasviet or Boisk. And we are now T minus one minute and counting. This is going to be very cool. Like this is something I am going to keep an eye on because, well, up until the private module started going up, this is going to be the the largest major module going up to the ISS for a while. T minus forty seconds. And of course, the proton, which means all the fuel in it is hypergolic and horrifically dangerous. So let us see how it goes. T minus 20 seconds, standing by for the initiation of the launch sequence. T minus 10 seconds. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. There it goes. Engine start and lift off. A lift module off. named Oka. Science takes flight to the International yeah, Space Oka. Station. It, it does in fact mean science, and it is in fact a science laboratory. It does what it says on the tin. There it goes. Good stage one ignition. Oh. There goes the proton rocket Roll out of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Nominal pressure reported in the uh, six first stage engines. Of course, the proton is known to have a bit of a forty seconds into the flight. Doing too Good well. stabilization on the vehicle. That is Coming cool up on view. the one minute mark into the flight, all engines running normally. There are three stages on this vehicle. For those unfamiliar with the Proton, because let's face it, this is not something you see often. Now going through the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the Proton M. Good vehicle performance reported from the blockhouse in Baikonur. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. I'm wondering if we will get any view from Nauka once it's actually up in orbit. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight. About 20 seconds uh, left for first stage performance. Second stage ignition. There's a stagger signal, so the second stage ignites. Then there's the separation. There you go, you can see the first and stage first stage there. separation. So the first stage will fall away and land somewhere in Kazakhstan or Russia. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, good stabilization on the vehicle. Four second stage engines up and running. They'll burn for about three and a half minutes. Let's go ahead, you can see the first stage falling away. Yaw pitch and roll program uh, reported uh, to have nominal parameters so far as we approach the three minute mark into the flight. Proton tracking right down the line. Yeah. 
The flight is proceeding normally, coming up on the three and a half minute mark into the flight. They just changed the zoom and we're seeing the first stage below her. I don't know. Four minutes into the flight, uh, good uh, chamber pressures reported for the four second stage engines. About uh, five minutes and 40 seconds of powered flight remaining. The altitude and uh, downrange distance matching uh, pre-launch predictions. That's good. There's also a chance I might actually be able to see this thing tonight. Four and a half minutes in, five minutes and ten seconds of powered flight remaining. These uh, four second stage engines providing uh, more than a half million pounds of thrust. Good vehicle stabilization reported uh, by the launch control team in Baikonur. So far, so good. Yep, polyotin automalne. Yeah, we're almost at the point where the two stages will separate, or rather the second and third stage will separate. Five and a half minutes into the flight, just over four minutes of powered flight remaining. There we go. Fairing still a third stage uh, ignition. I presume that will and soon second stage change. separation confirmed. Yep, and there we and go. And payload fairing has been jettisoned. Just over six minutes into the flight, everything is reported uh, to be proceeding in great fashion. The uh, multi-purpose laboratory module now being boosted on the final stage of its powered flight through the single RD-212 engine, which will burn uh, for another three minutes plus, creating an additional 138,000 pounds of thrust. Good uh, pressure in the uh, third stage engine coming up on the seven minute mark into the flight. Seven minutes in, two minutes, 40 seconds of powered flight remaining. It's almost there. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes into the flight, everything looking good. Just over two minutes of powered flight remaining. See, everything's going. We've Flying just passed forward. the eight minute mark into the flight. About another minute and a half to go. 
Once uh, the third stage shuts down, there'll be another 12-second firing of Vernier engines before spacecraft separation. And then uh, the command to deploy the NIOCA's solar arrays and navigational antennas. All structural parameters on the third stage in great shape. Eight minutes, 40 seconds in, one minute of powered flight remaining. Nine minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. 30 seconds of powered flight remaining. It's gonna be fun. Good yaw, good roll, good pitch. MLM right on the money so far. Nine minutes, 30 seconds in, standing by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. We have third stage shutdown and separation. Mm, there it goes. See, and now it separates and it will deploy its solar arrays. The multipurpose laboratory module has separated from the third stage. We are standing by for confirmation of deployment. I presume they mean deployment of solar arrays and the like. And we now have confirmation of solar array and navigational antenna deployment. Great. I'm All external 25. appendages have been deployed. Nyoka en route to the International Space Station. Great. I'm Bob's 1925. That was launch of Nauka. Goodbye.